Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of The Bad of Isaac. We're going to jump in as um, The Lost this time. I will admit to you, I did just try and record a run as The Lost. And I ha I just scrapped the recording. I was so displeased with it. Fucking no. Oh my god. So I was just about to say, I scrapped the recording because literally every single item I got was bad. And every single reroll instantly deleted the item on a 25% chance. And it literally just did it again. Like, don't... Don't be giving me bad items and then immediately deleting them. Like, it was like four in a row. Emoji glasses is pretty good. I'll take emoji glasses. But yeah, oh. Sorry, the rage was building for a little while there. <laughs> the rage had been building. Um, and I, I'm, I was not best pleased. The Eternal D6 can be fickle. I understand that. But like four times in a row where it doesn't give me um, a reroll and just deletes the item. So I just I just had like no items for the entire for like the first like three floors of run. I was like, this isn't fun to watch. <laughs> it's just me struggling super hard and getting quite frustrated. I'm just gonna start again. My question of the day for that one, and I'll just repeat it again. I was saying about um, an Isaac question of the day. What's a what's a character that you think starts with like incorrect starting items? What what would you give them instead? What are some characters that you think you could do with tweaking what items they start with? I think I think there's definitely a few, and I think it could be interesting to hear. Some people's varying different opinions on uh, starting items and stuff. Now, uh, Emoji Glasses obviously has some downsides, but overall is pretty good. I quite like Emoji Glasses. We've managed to take you out pretty swiftly. And we get ourselves something half decent at least. Right. To the next floor, feeling better this time. Oh, got to get some calm, some peace of mind. And um, we'll see what's in here real quick. Mr. Dolly, yes please. Good. Poison going there as well. Nice. A crit on you as well. The poison's doing real well right now. Go, emojis, go. Good, good. Okay. Pretty happy with this run compared to the, the previous. Like I said, we had basically no items in that last one, so... Wasn't the most enjoyable to play or watch. <laughs> I just love how the fact that the emerges are just... It's kind of like having rainbow tears. They all have, like, different effects. And there's, there's so many different effects as well. But obviously I have to deal with the tears being all wacky and wavy. And then here, re-roll that. That's not actually great, to be honest, because the soul hearts won't do anything for us. But the, the shots do deal 1.5 times extra damage, so... It is still useful, even regardless of the soul hearts. It's just a small chance to fire a 1.5 times tier, which is decent enough. Get over here, you. Good, good. Oh, a little bit stressful there. Hehehe. <laughs> Cover the entire room in emojis. And then... The next question of the day is one that's terrible, <laughs> but I'm going to ask it anyways. What's your favourite emoji? And if your answer is, I don't have one, good. <laughs> you shouldn't have one. <laughs> I never use emojis, I fucking hate them. I won't say I hate them, but I'm not not a fan of using them at all. And I, People that, that, that use them too much in, in like text messages, it, it's annoying. Like it's, it, it can be good to convey emotion if the text just doesn't work for it. I, obviously, I get that purpose, but people that just, like, put a laughing emoji at the end of every goddamn sentence. I'm like, calm down, love. I will take that. Uh, that does technically give us some range and uh, damage and stuff, so I'll take it. Right. Oh my god, I booted that guy. I think I will take left hand here. Seems decent enough to try and get some guppy items and whatnot. 
I love the kick sound effect in this game, it's so good. Well, it's not really a kick, it was originally a punch, but you know what I mean. Two extra keys, lovely. Those crocodiles. <laughs> Unfortunately, these rooms have not been particularly uh, forthcoming with uh, good stuff yet. Our cash rooms haven't had any items or anything really of worth in them. What do the snake ones do? Got a ha Havoc Vault. Ugh. Um, I'm going to go for this. Then I can get a random item out of this. Yes, please. With all of this shenanigans going on, hell yes, I'll take almond milk. <laughs> the emoji glasses on steroids. Gotta love it. All the different various effects going on. You can't say no to a bit of almond milk when it shows up. Almond milk is one of the items that I really, really enjoy. It's just like a wackier soy milk. It's great. Works quite well in a lot of builds. I love all the like lingering crocodiles we've got going on here. Do you know what we need now is just a little teensy weensy little bit of herming. And we'll be in a good spot. A little bit of herming on top of this. And I think we will schmack. Let's be careful here. Make sure we play it safe-ish. But those 1.5 times extra damage shots are going to be pretty useful nowadays. Another red chest. There's nine lives. That gives us a lot and a lot of safety. It's very, very nice. A guppy item is good regardless, but that guppy item is very good. Beautiful stuff. At this point, perfection's probably better, right? Um, for more room drops. But I actually, no, I'm, I'm going to stick with what I've got because I could lose perfection and I have nine lives, so I'm going to revive if I lose perfection. Um, and I'd rather try and get Guppy at this point, because uh, Guppy would be pretty goddamn ace. Let's Good. Oh, really? You have to spawn right at the end of the room. Get ourselves strength, which is pretty decent against whatever big boss we come up against next. Hopefully we don't get too many more disappearing items. These guys are a right pain. Got them. And then what you got going on for us? Had a feeling. Just a bunch of soul hearts. Darn. Yeah, I had a feeling I was taking damage there, but we're okay. But you can see by the amount of soul hearts that we're getting that these um, extra damage shots are doing a good amount. PJs, unfortunately, doesn't do anything for us. Neither does full HP. Got you. Soul Cleaver. Trinity Worm would be very, very wacky. Um, like, very, very wacky. Do it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. My goodness. We have created something quite intense here. A good old Trinity Worm. 
Right, one more and then we'll go back and re-roll. Oh, hello, that turned to a ghost chest for some reason. You gonna die, friend? There you go. Let's go to the boss first before we go back and re-roll. Doing double damage to this guy seems useful. A bit of a pain in the ass. The lingering crocodiles. Look at all the baby tiny crocodiles. Okay, that I like. I know that fire rate increase doesn't really mean a lot, but honestly, 3.55 onto a fire rate. It's quite a big bonus. Quite a big get. Hmm. God damn it. This floor this floor was an absolute bust. Away we go. I don't know what, what am I hoping for next. I'm hoping for something that I can capitalize on like tier effects with. Because, like, I'm hitting enemies so often. If I was playing as a regular character right now, I'd be invincible because of all the soul hearts we're getting. It's pretty crazy. Unfortunately, picking up soul hearts of this guy doesn't do anything for us. This bruising effect is super nice with uh, almond milk. Getting so many pills, but I just don't want them. I, we're not, I'm just not on a run where I feel like pills would be a big benefit to me. What are we on here? Depths 1. I, I'll just do the boss straight away then. Ooh, the Fallen. It's rather nice to get a free Devil Deal item. Beautiful. Wow. And then Krampus as well. Okay, Lump of Coal would actually be goddamn unreal. You know he's not going to give me it now that I've said that, but it would be so insanely powerful. I knew it. Fetid is pretty useful. I knew he wasn't going to give me it. Really unfortunate, because Lump of Coal... With the amount of range we have and the amount of like travel distance each shot gets, they would have been it, lump of coal would have been like tripling our damage output. I think. I knew it was too good to be true. The game don't work that way. It sees what you need, it sees what you want, and it shafts you. That is the only way it knows how to work. Right, item room. Where you at? Fettered hearts, though, is going to be nice. Fettered enemies is going to allow us to do some good damage across the board to every enemy in the room. If there's more than one enemy, that is. So far, I've only seen fettered enemies in rooms with only one enemy. Excuse me. Stop bouncing my bomb around, please. Ayo, more damage. It's very, very nice. Even more fire rate as well is good. Come on now. What are you doing? God damn it, game. I don't need goddamn actives. Actives do nothing for me. So, stop fucking giving me them. <laughs> God damn it. All the guns firing all the extra shots. Dude, we just knocked this guy off of the map. Apparently he died, though. No way. I was like, no way I died to that. And I was like, I've got nine lives. It doesn't matter. I can play it risky. Right. Let's go re-roll again. And do you know what's going to happen? Ooh. Ooh, uh, I, I think I know what's going to happen. I think it's going to re-roll into nothing. <gasps> it didn't. It gave us Rotten Tomatoes. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Back we go. I guess I'm just going to take Sister Maggie. I don't really need it. It doesn't really benefit me, but... There's no point leaving it and I can't re-roll it, I don't think. Actually, I, I can re-roll it if I do this room. So, let's do this room.
Burnley. I could kill this bitch. Just too many tears in the room now for this guy to ever pop up again. Okay, just about got him. Jumpy boys need to go straight away as well. I love all the presents as well. <laughs> There's just so many good effects of the merge glasses. It's 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 wild. Things get real crazy. I wait for the tears to settle, and I'll bomb this. I say wait for the tears to settle. It could be ages. It's probably better to just leave the room and come back in <laughs> to clear the tears. Decent, and yeah, now we can see if we can reroll. It won't reroll into another devil item, mind you. It'll reroll into a boss item, but... No, it reloaded into another devil item. Surprising. Um, Ghost Baby. So, pretty much exactly the same as the thing we just gave up. But slightly, slightly, slightly better. I think. I think it's better. I don't know. Either way, not particularly happy with it. Not particularly happy. Right, what, what is it we're trying to do here? We're trying to do, um... Trying to do Dark Path here. That's good, we'll take that. That is going to make our shots absolutely tiny. Oh god. Our emojis are so small. You're dead. Absolute firestorm of shit. Okay. Fettered shots there helped a ton. This guy's a massive pain in the ass. Okay, he actually died pretty quick there. Beautiful. Get the hell out of here. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the item we got there. Hey, we got a bit of dry baby going on here. Two thirds conjoined, I guess. That's not bad. Flatstone's interesting here. It's not very good, but it is stupid. I'm gonna take it. I like the idea of flatstone with all of this craziness. We're on depths. We're on depths two already. God damn. We're, we're we're gonna be able to do boss rush here, and I think we need to do boss rush as well. Yeah, we do. Boss rush is very much in the cards. Sorry, pills, but you're not in. You're not in the cards for me today. Tire room is dead. Shoppeth, what do you have for us? Boomerang. Wow. Wow, <laughs> really getting some good stuff here. Oh, there's a rainbow boy. He sucked me in. Okay, come on, guys. Pop your heads up a little bit. Oh, there's another wave of enemies here. Bollocks. All the guns. It seems like the, the types of shots that come out of uh, emergy glasses like come in waves. Sometimes you get like a bunch of one type and then another time you get a bunch of another type. So very still until you stop moving. Oh, I just realised we lost perfection. Completely forgot about that. Perfection on the left hand are gone. Dead to us. Yeah, boss. Boss shouldn't be that hard for us. Boss rush, however, is probably going to take some time. I don't think boss rush is going to be something that's quick. Good thing is... I do think having Rotten Tomato will actually make Boss Rush better, because the bosses can then hurt each other. 
I think. I think it works on bosses, I'm pretty sure it does. Nice. We're going Dark Path here, which means that's good. We get sick extra damage. And... We reroll all of those. Dude! <laughs> They're all just terrible. I guess I'll take the stolen placard. Of course we get Kingpin as our first goddamn boss as well. I mean, honestly, we could just die to get out of here with the item stolen, but... I'd rather not. I'd, li I'd like to beat it, but... I don't know if we will. Kingpin is an absolute amazing asshole. Yeah, it was just two two lots of four bad like well eight uh, eight bad items in total. Not not what I want to see. Yeah, we're just not killing bosses super fast. Take you out first because you can laser beam us without us being able to see it. Oh! Oh, you almost laser beamed the other boss. That would have been perfect. Eat that bomb. Eat it down. Ha ha ha! That made life a hell of a lot easier for us. Lovely red hearts there. Good old blurt. Probably get him to uh, fire at the other boss. Nah, he didn't fancy it. Oh, dude. Whenever we fire the, the emojis that, like, fire extra shots, the lag. The lag just comes in. You see how bad it is right now. I'm, like, pushing some of these bosses into myself. I don't like that. Ah, the eye. Go away. D d game, can we not fire these, these types of emojis? Because I'm getting to the point now where the lag is a bit much. I'd like to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. Got bloat. Nice and easy on bloaty bloat. Steven's tricky because he can teleport. Oh, we killed him very quickly before he even got a chance to, so that was nice. I think that was actually um, this guy killing him. I don't think we killed him. I think this guy had Rotten Tomato... And we, they killed each other, sort of thing. There you go. He's dead as well. So it's going to be the way to kill them all, really. Rotten Tomato, both of them up and then have them duke it out. There you go. Like, exactly like that. It seems to work out pretty well for us. Okay. You're dead. Good, good. Now, this guy can still hit me pretty easily with his brimstone thing. I'm not very good at avoiding it. It's all about sort of getting behind him and around him as soon as you hear him start to fire it. So you've got to kind of circle him. Still doesn't make it easy, though. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, same thing again. Try and rotten tomato one up, and then as soon as we can, rotten tomato the next one. And then we hope that there's like a some infighting that goes on between the two. Like that, look. There you go. Look at that damage. It's actually, like, helping us a ton. Rotten Tomato is very good. It, it can even make some enemies fight themselves. Like, um, Mother, for example, can, like, d damage her own body pieces because they can both be Rotten Tomatoes. Which is always funny. And also, it takes aggro off of us. Oh, dude, I got hit by something there and I don't know what. That's really, that's a real big shame. I have a feeling it was one of these little flies that flew in from the edge of the screen. Because this boss tends to do that. I don't really know why. Annoying for a first floor boss, but Yeah, so we, we, we might not make it all the way through boss rush now because we don't have a holy mantle to rely on but we'll see what we can do Of course, I will try my hardest to, to keep it going dude. There are so many goddamn crocodiles just chilling This guy on his own killing him on his own is a little Little more tricky because he can do this bullshit where he fires brimstones and I'm not ready for it I don't know where the other one was. My crocodile army will kill you. Do not fret. Do not worry. 
It's funny because like the instantly both get rotten tomato like straight away. Oh, I nicely did some brimstone damage to Chubb. That bruising effect has mean he he dies very very quickly. I don't know where Chubb is now. There you are. Chubb, do you want to pop up out the ground, please? There you go. Lovely, lovely. We've got to be like three or four waves. I think four waves off at this point. Things are going a little slowly just because of the extra lag that we're having to deal with right now. We're getting through everything there. Honestly, the lingering crocodiles are just like killing everything for us. Like, there's just so many of them lingering around the room that, like, enemies like that dude that, like, dive and dip around the room are just instantly dying. That's you dead. It's also you dead. I didn't even have time to think about killing you. I'm just trying to prioritize certain bosses that I know are going to be more tricky. Loki's honestly one that I probably should prioritize heavily, but this guy's second form can dash at you. And I don't want him to be doing that when I'm not sort of looking and aware. We're back on some of the tiers that shoot now, which is creating a hell of a lot of lag. Dodging at this point is nearly impossible. Just hoping for the best and trying to stand in the right locations, but actively dodging an incoming tier ain't going to happen. Just yet again, it's firing the wrong emojis. The sentence I wouldn't think I'd be saying today, but I have. Right, calm it down, game. Calm it down. Okay, this enemy jumps. I don't particularly like that. Honestly, like, all of the aggro being off us right now is super nice. Okay, one more wave, maybe two more waves. It's hard to say, hard to say. Okay, unfortunately Mega Fat has been like just pushed to the other side of the room here. I don't know why they're having such a, a kick fest on this guy, but... He's getting beaten up. Oh, he's jumped directly onto our friend here. And he's killed him. He's literally just sat on his head and killed him. Thank you, fatty boy. Fatty, fatty boom boom. Appreciate you. This feels like the longest boss rush ever, but it's just because the lag is so heavy that the, the game's playing at like 20 or less FPS, so it's taking so much longer to get through all of boss rush than it normally would. Right, come on, like one more wave. Come on. It can't be much more than that. There you go. The D100 has been unlocked. Lovely. Lost contact is incredible. How the hell do we get out of this hellscape? This nightmare crocodile farm. Yes, I'm glad we got that done. That's a, a nice unlock there to get the D100. It's pretty useful. Not as good as it used to be. It used to be just run winning, but now it's just good. But yeah, lost contact here, and our tiers are small, but there's so many of them that blocking uh, blocking shots is going to be pretty goddamn good. Easy. The world is super, super useful here. Very much cannot be asked with going the wrong way constantly on this floor. Also, it allows us to see a secret that we can take through the uh, thingy room there. Through the secret room. Whoop. Nice and easy. Still clearing runes very, very fast. Yeah, because now we can do this to skip our room here. Token. Oh, do you know what? I didn't think about that, but I'm super glad I did that. 
token into an additional world card for next floor. Couldn't have planned that better, even though it was a complete and utter accident. Very, very happy with the outcome there. Right. Take whatever the hell this is. Dirty mind, why not? Right, Blast Assist, we've fought you a few times. You are going down. Good. Don't know what this is. Pretty happy with it. Conjoined, baby, yes please. More tears on screen? Hell yes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Around the world, around the world. That was very strange when we kicked that guy. He did not like that at all. Seems to have a dirty mind army come along. It means it's pretty hard for us to not destroy the poops that are in every room. How are you still alive, little buddy? There you go. If there's a poop in a room, it's going to be destroyed. Nope. No, 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 no. Don't you ever think I'd drop Trinity Worm? Don't you ever. There's no reason I'd ever drop Trinity Worm at this stage. Skip the last phase. Beautiful. Right, we're doing dark. We're just doing dark path here. We should have tried to do Mega Satan, but hey, her. Pretty happy with that. We've already done Hush. I could do Hush. Uh, nah, I won't. Uh, let's just go dark path. I should have tried to do Mega Satan. Really, I didn't even think about it. Yeah, Succubus here is pretty good stuff. All oh, the bullets, look at it. Look at them all shoot. It's magical. It is magical. I'm just hoping, we, again, we can go the right way quickly enough here. <laughs> I'm really liking the setup we got going on right now, I've got to say. I think we're going to kill him if he pops a hand up here. There you go. He decided to. Too brave if he might out, my dude. Too brave. Yeah, I think I killed everything. Ugh, God damn the lag though. I should quickly check what's in here. No guppy items, sadly. So that's our like, big missing piece right now. We could finish off our guppy. Be pretty happy. Shielded Tears is so strong with this setup as well. God damn. This is a room that I am not going to be sticking around in. If I can help it. Seems troubling and gross. Any rooms that have hosts in them are going to be really bad for us, so... I want to get the hell out of there. Just go back and check that red chest. Wasn't expecting that. That is a guppy item, so I guess I'll take it. It's not the best idea. Oh, I suppose I could uh, play this guy and get an item. And then... Ooh, Emperor card's lovely too. Come on. Pay out with an item, please. Fucker. How dare you. I gave you everything. Okay, Emperor card here is very, very nice. Right, boss time. Oh, I'm loving the rainbow of colours we've got going on here as well. 
You can see just about how long it took for those bosses to spawn, how slow the game is. And it just goes to show how quickly we're killing things. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy hell. Things do be dying fast. Oh no. Oh no, we've entered Lag City, boy. We've entered Lag City. I'll see Satan's Lag in about a year. Nice. Holy hell. I'm pretty sure you can still only take one of the items in Dark Path as the Lost, so I've got to check them all first. You used to be able to take them one chest at a time, but now it deletes all the chests, so it's worth opening them all first. Pinhead is very good for us here, I think. Oh, but that was Guppy. Am I a moron? Yes, I am. <laughs> I just saw Pinhead and was like, that'll be amazing, which it will. There's no denying Pinhead will be very good for us right now. But Guppy probably would have been a bit better. Because Pinhead, although good, isn't going to be good on single target. Or isn't going to be as good on single target. Very good against multiple enemies. In big rooms, Pinhead's going to, like, just wipe rooms clean. Oh, we have an Emperor card here. Let's just Emperor card. I think considering we've got um, shielded tears, there's basically nothing this guy can do. Like, because there's always going to be a tear over his mouth, which means he's never going to be able to shoot. Which is quite nice, I'd say. I will say it's weird that the pin shots are, like, sticking on top of him, but that might be one of the emerges doing that. Fortunately, this is going very, very slowly in terms of damage, but that's only because the game's lagging so bad it's actually going pretty well. I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but I'm just somehow I didn't get hit. Okay, so now these two are pinned together. This is where the real damage starts. You can see how quickly the body's dying. Look. Beautiful. And you are dead. Right. Before we end off this run, no victory lap, thank you. I need to go do a little bit of exploring real quick. Thank you for that. No thank you for that. That's pretty nice though. Don't know how long you're going to take to kill, to be honest. Feels like a while. A bomb would have been a better way to deal with you, wouldn't it? Oh, another chest. That doesn't do much for us, I don't think. Probably should have just rerolled that. And here it is. So, we've got this crack thing. And it takes off a random passive. And takes off another random passive. I didn't even see what the second one it took was. And it opens up a portal that takes us to the void floor. How cool is that? Basically, a guaranteed way to go to the void now, but it's going to cost you two random passive items every time. Which means, in theory, it could end up taking away the the item that that makes you feel like you're able to, to challenge void. So, it's an interesting idea. I don't know how we're going to do against Delirium here, I'll be honest, but we're going to give it a go. A blast immunity is very, very nice. I'm liking that. Wish we could make use of these goddamn soul hearts. Oh, there's an empty heart here we can't take. That's a shame. But yeah, I don't know how Delirium's going to go with all the lag and stuff that we've got working against us, but we're just going to try it and see what happens. We might as well while we're here. It's been a pretty quick run as well. I feel like I owe you guys a little bit more. But yeah, the room-to-room -room combat with the, the joining of enemies from pin shots could be super good. I still, yeah, I, I think for, for single-target bosses, we would have been way better off just taking Guppy. 
But for the room to room basis, we're, we're probably still way better off with uh, our setup now. Pinhead's just so goddamn good for that. And obviously it's just piercing as well, which is nice. E. coli, I'm going to reroll into an all stats up, which we can't currently afford, but if I find the money for it, I'll come back. Keep my eye out for pennies. Okay. Come on, boss. Where are thou? And what are you doing exactly? I always forget how this enemy works. Okay, he dives from the ceiling. Okay. That's fine. There's a penny. There's a few more pennies. Another soul heart. Where the boss is at? Ooh, wasn't expecting a secret room find. Always a little hard to find them on this. Secret disc could be detrimental, but I think I'm going to take it and save it for the boss. There's not too many things that could be really bad for us. There's a lot of things that could be very meh for us. Not too many things that'll be actively bad. Right, we should be finding a boss any time now, I think. Yeah, here we go. Here's our first boss. It's good old Gishy Gish. We've also got this army of, of Dirty Mind dips, which are stopping enemies from touching us too, so we've got a lot of protection at the moment. A lot of protection. The Bean. Plus damage. Wow, what a damage up. 0 0.1. I feel rich. Should be a few more bosses this way, I would expect. Yeah. Get him. I don't know if this will give me the... The... the uh, Black Pony or not. I don't want it either way, but... I'm curious. It gives me jumper cables, which I also don't really need. Unfortunate. We could p spend eight cents for five cents if we want to. <laughs> Seems like a well worthy sacrifice. We have enough for Capricorn now if we want to go get go back and get it. If I go back that way, I will, but otherwise I can't. Can't be bothered. The lamb again. We just fought the lamb, and he was a pain in the ass. Until we get into his second phase, he takes forever. Second phase, he really starts to become a lot easier, but... First phase, goddamn, his health is healthy. At least we have explosion immunity, though. That helps. That helps a whole hell of a lot. There we go. Now, once we get these two latched to one another, which I think we already have... They start both dying at extremely quick rates. I want us to be standing in my uh, my radius of my dude, my uh, my little incubus. Do not kill me now, because I've put too much effort into this fight to die now. Too much time, too much effort. Come on, my guy. There we go. Ooh, and we get ourselves Void Bombs. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I'll take Void Bombs. It's not amazingly good for the fight, but we do have 12 bombs now, and they do do pretty good damage. This could be the boss here. This could be it. Come on, boy. Got a lot of HP. Yeah, I was thinking it could be. Secret disc. We didn't really get anything that good there. But we also didn't get anything super detrimental either, so that's good. 
Only thing about this is going to be actually staying near him enough to do good damage. The hope is we get the crocodiles coming in from our emergy glasses. Oh, wait. We lost our emergy glasses. I've just realized now. I was wondering, like, why we weren't doing as much damage as before and why things were taking longer. We lost our emergy glasses. So that was a... I wouldn't say it's integral. That was a big part of our build. It's clear, it's clear now why we're doing so much less damage. Yeah, unfortunately, as you can see, the void bombs just kind of skate away from us. Honestly, this is going to take a night and a fucking day. Like, this might not actually be plausible for us. This is going to take so long without emergy glasses to do the bruising effects. We're not dealing that extra damage. We're not putting bleed effects on. There's a lot of things that we're not doing anymore, so... And, like I said, unfortunately, while the Void Bombs are strong, they're effectively useless because we can't, um... We can't actually throw them at the boss and then land where we want them to. Like, look, I throw another one there. Oh, that one might be good. Hey, that one was good. It still didn't do that much damage, though, right? We did an okay amount, but we need a lot more than that. At the minute, we've done about a fourth of the damage to him, and it's we've been in this fight a good, like, minute now, so... It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. And that all, all the while, we've got to make sure to not get hit. I mean, obviously, shielded does help in not getting hit, but it's not the end-all be-all. Tears can and will get through. What he needs to do is he needs to break into another boss that, um, that can be pinned to another. Like, two bosses that can be pinned to one another. That's where we do the real damage. I mean, luckily he's been kind enough to turn into his legitimate form often, which means that we can deal a lot of extra damage to him. But that's, that's mainly been where the damage we've done so far has come from, to be honest. There's no boss cap on that guy. Yeah, he's, just, he's just constantly as this dude. Ah, oh, there you go. That was such a good void bomb. Even then, though, you can see it does good damage, but not enough. Unsure what's happening here. A lot happened there. His health has gone up again, but that's just the visual bug. There you go. He's down to just over half now. There you go. That was a that was a pin a pin boss that worked quite well. Don't know if the, the pin will be. He is a pin boss, but <laughs> not in the same way I want him to be. Okay, good, 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 good. Where we make the big bucks. Okay. Things are certainly going. There's two bosses in the room as well. Again, pin them together. The extra damage we get from that is very, very nice. Sadly, those soul hearts do nothing for us. Oh, God. This is stressful because I just know that we're going to get him to, like, 90% dead and then he's going to take our first hit and it's going to be stressful from then, then on. I mean, it's all already stressful now, but... We're so deep into this fight at this point, like we've been at it for so long, that I just don't want it to fail. It would be a mighty, mighty bummer. I mean, luckily, you're, you're a boss right now that just sits there and does nothing, so that helps. <laughs> There's certain bosses like that bat dude that just... Ugh. Yep, there you go. That one, just, it just fucking comes at me. And I can't do anything about it. I got through so much of the fight without getting hit. And I knew that once it, once, once the shit got going, shit hit the fan, game wouldn't be so kind. Wouldn't be so kind. I'm. Do I really want to do that again? 
Like, legitimately, do I really want to do that again? Uh, I don't really think I do. I think I'm going to have to go back and see if I can get some other items. I can buy Capricorn as well. This is rough. I can't remember where Capricorn was, I'll be honest. I know it's somewhere up over here, right? Somewhere up over here. Here, maybe? Yeah, there it is. We've got Capricorn at least, that's nice. Something. But yeah, I didn't even realize we'd lost the merge glasses. Such a, a big L. Lost so much potential damage from it. And that's actually pretty good. Okay, we're getting some stuff that's adding on here. I think there's at least two more bosses left. Maybe a few more. So let's try and find some other bosses and get some other good items going. Ooh, kind of an interesting room here. You have to get them to move and then go underneath them. I like that. Right. What are you spawning? A uh, little haunts, I see. Excuse me, what are you spawning? Get back here. Bosses, where art thou? Hey, there's two more. And hopefully some easy ones as well. This is definitely an easy one. There you go. And we get Charming Tears, no thank you. Ooh, baby! A HP up? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Uh, this is one of the guys that I can pin his segments to one another and do crazy good damage to, right? And he's bleeding as well, which is helpful. There you go. Ah, oh, lovely. Bunch of items that mean jack shit. Go back and get a reroll. There is a battery over there as well, so we've got another reroll if we need it, but I'm dubious that's going to be worth our time. You rerolled it into another HP up. Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> Why? As a character that can't make any use of that whatsoever, why would you do that? Just mean. There's a mega battery back there, that's good to know. Right. Back again, don't take the mega battery yet. I'm putting my time in to try and re-roll. I, I know that they're going to disappear, but I'm putting my time to try and re-roll these things into actually useful things, because stuff like Myrmycosis, it's it's good stuff. It could work out for us. See? Plus damage up. That could be huge. Now we come in and we get the uh, the double battery charge. And we go for another re-roll. That gives us two charges to play around with. And we hope that we reroll your listen to something better. Because your listen, it's nice, but just this late into the game, it just doesn't really do anything for us. So, what's the point? I might as well try and reroll it into an item that has some effects. Technically, a tier rate up is good. It didn't give us a tier rate up, it just gave us a shot speed up. So, my bad. Oops, I guess. Should have thought that 22.7 seems pretty high. But you never know with, like, soy milk and almond milk. It can go higher, so... I, I gave it a gamble. The shot speed might be useful anyways. We'll see. Big boy. Got him. Still quite a lot of rooms left, apparently. Any more bosses left is the question. Oh my god, there's quite a lot of rooms left. Holy hell. Ok. 
Come on, boy, die. Any more bosses left? We'll never know because there's just so many rooms between the edge of this goddamn place. Okay, there's another boss. How exactly do we get through this room? I'm confused. This is probably worth opening in case we get items out of it. Unfortunately, we did not get items out of it. Where's my trinket gone? Um, Where's my trinity trinket gone? Could all these little fart clouds get the fuck out of the way, please? Where the hell's my trinity trinket gone? Is it underneath the chest, maybe? It just disappeared. I feel betrayed. Okay, I guess we're not having that anymore. The extension cable might be useful. We'll take it. Still annoyed though. What the hell? It just disappeared. The Trinity Trinket seems to be doing a pretty good bit of work, you know, because I feel like I'm not hitting as much. Maybe it's placebo, but... Book of Jubilees doesn't do much for us. That also doesn't do much for us. What the hell? My Trinket disappeared. It's not fair, game. It's not fair. I just rip it out of my hands like that. Completely unjust. I feel so betrayed. I feel I feel a lot weaker after losing that trinket as well. I'm not sure why, but I definitely do. Right, our rerolls have been just abysmally awful, but let's let's hope that this one gives us something sweet. Yeah, baby. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm so happy to see that. Okay, right. Back again. Little annoyed that we lost our trinket that was providing us with quite a bit of benefit. But... Hey, her. That's how the game decided to be. Don't think that does anything for us. Oopsie, I need to go this way. Down and around. And we do have more damage now. That's good. We do have more mycosis. We do have more shot speed. But we do have quite a few benefits from the last time we fought. So we might be better off. But it's it's really luck of the draw at this point. I feel like... I don't know if it actually means we're going to do better or not. But yeah, the, the trinket we had before, I think, was doing a really good job of uh, keeping shots destroyed. Because they were just like shots everywhere all the time although the sticky shots actually are proving to be pretty valuable for that so that's good also latching enemies to one another was a particularly good talent of this other item other trinket the trinity one but yeah we'll have to see how much sort of damage Muramikos produces and helps with I don't think it's going to be that much more, but I might be wrong. The um, electricity from the extension cable might also prove to be quite useful. I know that that can do good damage. Yeah. I feel like we're definitely moving down the uh, health bar quicker than last time, but that doesn't mean anything really if we can, if we still get hit, so... Luckily, I can just stand right next to him here and keep wailing on him. Stay in this form for a while, why don't you? A little bit longer than that next time. Getting telefragged is, however, not something I can avoid in any way, shape, or form. What are you? I see him underground, but I don't know what it is. 
<sighs> God, I'm so stressed right now. I apologize my commentary is lacking a little bit, but honestly, like, the, the, the feeling of this run is stacked against me. You see, just what am I meant to do when the boss is just like, lol, I'm underneath you now. Because we've not got tears all over the place, we're not deflecting as many shots as we were prior. I don't think this is going to go the distance, unfortunately. Even though we the health is looking really, really good, we get, we've get we done a very good job. But I think we're going to have to take another few attempts at this and it's going to be real tedious. Real tedious indeed. Take you out, little body. The bat screwed me over last time, so let's be careful of the bat this time. Uh, the, yeah, the bat the bat moves at uh, uh, some, some breakneck speeds here. Don't much like the, the bat. Oh great, that was Bumba. That was uh that was pleasant of you. This is going to be fucking awful. I'm going to be here for years. I just need to not transform into the worst possible thing for me. Bumba, really bad. The bat, really bad. Mum's foot, really bad. There's quite a few of them that are pretty horrific. Sadly, picking up soul hearts does not refresh my holy mantle. That would be very, very nice, but maybe quite strong of a buff. But yeah, the damage we do, it's, it's, it's enough. It's good, but it's just, ugh. You know, to do this entire fight, only be able to hit twice. It's pretty awful. I've not had this uh, version of Mum in Delirium yet. But the thing is as well, like, to do good damage, I have to do this, where I stay really, really close to them. Which is risky, because although I'm blocking a lot of their shots with my shielded tears, I can't block them all. And so I've got to stay really close and play it risky, but I've got such a high chance of that messing up on us. Two of these lumps about now. Where, where on earth is the actual boss gone? <sighs> Walked right into it. Just walked right into that tier that time. Yeah, the, the, the loss of my Trinity Trinket, I'm, I'm very, very miffed about. Do, do us the glitch. Do us the glitch where you take off 90% of his HP for some reason. How dare you not glitch for me. Oh, I acted like we finished the boss there. We most certainly didn't. The music has gone. The day the music died. Bumper got me again. Really Bumper. Gonna play it like that, are we? How dare you, Bumba. We're already an hour and five minutes on this run. God damn it. It's going to be, like I said, this is going to be a long, long ride. But, boy, we're going to be here for some time. Glitch for me. Glitch. Take off 90% of his HP. Please. Oh, you said in base form for like two seconds. Oh, no, you stayed for a while. You just moved. Okay, this is the longest he's ever stayed in base form for. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I'm very happy about it. Holy shit, we got, we've got we gotten very, very lucky there. That is an insane amount of damage to be able to get off on him while he's in base form. Never normally happens like that. Okay. 
We're doing a fine and dandy job. We've got a pretty good amount of his HP taken off. He's not transformed to anything too asshole ish yet. Body form of you is annoying, but again, not terrible. We're not even down to halfway yet, though, so let's not get too excited. And so, once we're down to halfway HP, then I can start feeling a little bit better. But. Till then, it doesn't really mean much. Oh, you fucking brimstoning cockface. Why? This is this is honestly awful. I hate this. I kind of just want to end the run, but I feel like I can't because I'm the lost. Like, this completion mark is worth a good bit to get. And I feel like I can get it. But goddamn, this is just torture. Give me my emoji glasses back. This will be over in five seconds. Not five seconds, but a lot quicker than it is right now. God damn. This has been a travesty. What the fuck was that? Just, just, yeah. Undo that one. We'll go again. That was horrible. I lost, I lost it way too early there. Just stay in base form the entire time, why don't you, you sack of shit? <laughs> why does this boss have to be so terrible? <laughs> I'm really, I, like, I know that obviously it's a hard job to do and I know that it takes a hell of a lot of time, but I do hope that the reworked Furs mod eventually gets around to do a Delirium rework. Even just, like, removing, nah, fuck this. I don't care. <laughs> We're ending it there, I can't be asked. it's just pissing me off. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.